Hey traders, welcome back to the next lesson of Fine Spirit. So in this lesson, I want to talk about the why loops in Fine Spirit. Now, the first one are the for loops that we have studied in our previous video, and then there are why loops. Both loops have their own applications and are good for specific reasons at insurgent conditions. So for while loop, we only want to use the while loop when we have a counter or iteration that we want to run until a certain condition gets false or gets violated. So for example, if we want to calculate the last 10 bars close, the sum of last 10 bars close, then we can go ahead and provide it. And while i is less than 10, then it would take the last 10 bars. So if we only iterate over the iterations until our condition gets false and the follow in follow we provided a specific range and it iterates within that range so now without any further ado let's go to an example and here if we just go ahead and start writing the example then this example is pretty simple as i said we want to calculate the sum of last 10 bars closes so if you go ahead and check here the last 10 bars are um, here so we want to get the close of all these 10 bars so what we are doing is we are giving us we are assigning some variable we are giving it a counter of i which is zero so we are saying while i is less than 10 we want this while loop to run until this condition is true as soon as this condition invalidates or gets false we want to exit this loop and we want to return the sum within this function so Within the first iteration, we get a close of the first panel, then we get the close of second, third, and by doing this, we get the close of ninth panel. Now, on the tenth panel, i is less than 10, but when the tenth iteration comes, we know that i is less than 10, so i is equal to 10, or tenth iteration would be false. So this loop would exit and we return the sum, and within the loop, we are giving it sum. Is equal to sum plus close i so we want to get a close of each handle and then reassign it to the sum and also we want to increase our counter so here you can see i is equal to zero and within the while loop so for while loop we always have to provide a counter so here you can see i is uh, equal to we are reassigning it i plus one so we want to iterate or increase the value of i by one in each iteration if we change it to two then it would be like providing a step in the for loop so here we if we provide two then within each iteration for the first iteration the i would return two for the second iteration it would be four then six so like that we can with a custom step as well within the while loop so for our case i'm just going to go ahead and give it one and now Let's go ahead and plot the sum of last 10 panels. So let me just go ahead and here. So you can see that we're plotting this function and then we're plotting this. And let me just go ahead and add this to a chart to make sure our function is working. So let me just go ahead and provide another for slope. So here you can see this is the sum of closes of last 10 panels, as you can see here. And then what we can do is we can get the we can divide it by 10 to get the simple moving average as well so let me just go ahead and check this so here you can see on this panel the simple moving average is almost 2334 and if you just go ahead and apply the sma or simple moving average indicator then we get the same value for the period of 10 so let's go ahead and change this to 10 and you can see that this value is 2334.73 and this is also 2334 let me just go zoom in so this is also 2334.91 and this is let me zoom in here we can get to 3349 so you can see the while loop is working pretty well and it is iterating until this condition becomes false and we're giving it uh, counter or we are increasing our counter by one 
for each iteration. This is how you can use the while loops in PyScript. I know this example is very simple, but I just want to get the idea across and show you how you can use the while loops. If you have any complex code or if you are stuck with something using the while loop, please comment down below. I would love to answer them. And if you have any questions related to PyScript, you can also visit our website www.findresults.com where you can find multiple articles related to PyScript. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I will like to ask them. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Thank you.